Hello folks, in this video I aim to go through the basics of using the ESP32 analog to digital converter and I'll also look at some of its features. Those are the two main inputs you'll find on most development boards VP and VN, GPO 36 and 39 respectively. So typical inputs are VP, GPO 36, shown there on the board, the low limb board, and VN, GPO 39. You can use any of 12 other pins for the ADC input, so you can reassign the ADC channel to uh, another pin, and you can change the inputs, the resolutions, and uh, essentially the accuracy of the uh, ADC converter. That's my test arrangement which is a 10k pot connected between 3 volt, 3.3 volts and ground and the input is going to VP GPIO 36. In its basic form it's very easy to use no, no need to define the input pin I'm using pin 36 or VP I've used two examples there the result is analog read 464 for a half for 0.5 volt input to pin VP. This is the typical linearity of the uh, of the input range, the ADC. The green line denotes an ideal response. So for one volt, 1250 count, and two volts, 2500 count. The actual response is the red line that I'm depicting and it has a linear region from about 0.5 volts to 2.5 volts. It's not linear, it's got those two little dog legs at either end. But with a range of 0 to 3 volts, workable, not, not linear but workable. These are the range of functions you have available to you. The analog read resolution defaults to 12 bit but can be varied from 9, 10, 11 or 12. So 12 bit is 0 to 4095 count. Uh, set the width of the analog to digital channel both the sample bits and therefore the read resolution again from 9 to 12 bits. Set the number of cycles per sample uh, default is 8. Set the number of samples. Uh, number of samples taken per cycle 1, 2, 3 up to 255. Set the clock or the speed of the analog to digital conversion. Set the attenuation. These are the labels you have to use ADC underscore 0 dB, 2.5 dB, 6 dB and 11 dB um, and you can set the attenuation on a particular pin. So I'll go through it in a little bit more detail later but the labels are always the same for the attenuation setting either 1, 1 1.34, 1.5 or 3.6 is the divisor. Attach a pin. So attach the ADC channel to pin 13 perhaps. There's a couple of fun three functions for testing the status so start the conversion check that it's busy and check that it's ended these are three four uh, sorry these are the four ranges with different attenuation settings either 0 2.5 6 or 11 in essence with 0 db which is this curve here the range is 1 volt input 1 volt is naught to 4095.96 counts. So you always assume 0 to 1 volt is its default range and you can vary the attenuation to get a wider range but with lower resolution. But noting that the 11 dB range, the default range, whilst giving a nice wide input range is not quite linear. Here's an example of attaching the ADC channel to pin 13, reading that pin and getting the same result. 
Here's an example of setting the clock speed. So that's its default value anyway. And uh, discounting the serial print statements, it takes approximately 400 microseconds to, uh, to make the conversion. So start the timer, get a timer reading, and then undertake the conversion, print the result, and there's the answer. Same thing there now with 255, a value of 255, takes 775 microseconds. So it has the effect of slowing down the conversion. I talked about the result being nonlinear. Well, I've created a function here which I'll put on GitHub, which is called read voltage with a pin number 36. What it is is a polynomial equation that takes an input voltage, takes the re ADC reading and converts the ADC reading back to a straight line. So that gives you a very accurate, from my calculations and my results, less than 1% error. So that's using a bit of mathematical controls to um, correct the ADC response. That's all you need, including your program, to get a really accurate read voltage. Overall, then, the e ESP32 ADC is easy to use. You can get a reading with that simple statement. Uh, default accuracy is, is approximately 7%. can be improved. You can vary its resolution, and you can change its pin, and you can vary a wide range of ADC parameters when required or for your application. Enjoy.